Okay, so in this video, we'll show you how to remove old PPF and reinstall PPF on your mirror caps. Okay, so to remove PPF, so we have SunTech, which is not holding up well, and we're gonna be replacing it with Expel. So what you wanna do is put a towel, microfiber towel or any towel, get some boiling hot water from your kettle and just pour from the top. And this will give it a little heat so you can easily remove it without leaving any residue where you will have to rub off. And you let it sit for about a minute or two. And then once it's nice and hot, you just remove the towel. And with a little heat, it makes it a lot easier. You probably noticed the two color differences. You see how much uh, UV protection it provides to your vehicle. This is with no PPF. This is with PPF. There's a sort of, I wouldn't say yellowing, but contaminants just makes the car looks not as, as bright white as the, the, the original paint. So there is some sort of yellowing here, but uh, we'll clean this up and we'll see what the difference is. What you want to do is, this surface is already pristine from the wrap. Um, what we're just going to do is just make sure any glue residue and uh, any contaminants along the line here is off by using 70% alcohol. And what I like to do is cut off the section for the mirror caps only. And it does come in two piece um, due to the curvature of the mirror caps. Um, the seam is right on top, but you just have to put it on nice and tight. You won't be able to notice it unless you really look for it. So you want to get a good amount of slip solution. So this is just, there's six drops of baby shampoo, 24 ounce of water. So if you live in a warmer climate, you probably want to add maybe 10 to 12 drops of Johnson Johnson baby shampoo uh, into the 24 ounce. And that just gives you more ability to move the film around. So we're going to get this pretty soaked up with the slip solution. Stick this on here. So in this case, we had wrap on here before, so we don't really need to prep much of the paint to put on the PPF. What you wanna do, if you don't have PPF before, you wanna wash the car down very thoroughly and then clay bar it and then Paint correction, you can buy compound online or at your auto parts store and just buff any scratch or sore marks out. Um, you can avoid that whole process, but you know, it's preferred to do that to preserve your paint. If not, it's fine. It's not going to damage your paint. You put PPF on it. If there's minor sore marks or any scratches. However, uh, it's preferred if you want to do it right. That's, that's normally what people would do. Uh, with a paint two-step paint correction. Uh, most PPF installers don't do that um, because it's already expensive to install PPF. A full PPF in the front end of a Tesla is about uh, $17 to $1,900 without paint correction. So with paint correction, you're looking at maybe another five, dollars $800 or maybe even 1000 for the whole vehicle. But anyways, um, after you do that, you want to 
clean the surface down with a either alcohol, um, 70% alcohol. Let's just spray down the surface to make it more uh, slick and the PPF will adhere to it a lot better and it will last a long time. So in this case, we're gonna soak it down with slip solution and then soak the film down with slip solution. I like to start with the bottom film. And this is the do-it-yourself kit pre-cut from Dry Protect It. And I'll post a link where you can find the website as well as 20% off using our promo code. And if you live in the US, you can get an additional 20% off of the current conversion rate between Canadian and US dollar. So this is a licensed certified Expel company with a 10 year warranty. And you wanna soak the back of the film before you apply it on so it doesn't so it doesn't stick and you're able to move it around a little bit. So this does require a little stretch, uh, about half an inch. So you wanna stretch it maybe an inch out. So you wanna use this edge here as your starting point and you wanna tack this down. So what I mean by tack is essentially just 30% uh, alcohol and 70% water is the tack solution. It anchors down the spot where you are satisfied with the cut. So once the cut line up with the side here and you're ready to anchor it down, then you can actually stretch this part inward and then clean out these fingers um, and air bubbles. But you do want to anchor down at least a starting point, whether it's here or over here. I like to start on this side because the edges is, is, is flat coming up. I'm going to put some tack solution just underneath where I want to anchor it down. And then just squeegee out where you anchor it down. So this is where I anchor it down. I line this PPF along the edges and also along the bottom edges. Now I'm just gonna slightly stretch it this way. I'm gonna add more slip solution so I can move it around a little bit better. And then anchor down the other side with some tack solution so it stays into place. So once I align this side, with the tack solution. I just basically stretch this out while I'm stretching this out with my other hand, squeegeeing it and pushing out all the air bubbles. And if you have any finger marks, you're not stretching it further enough. So once it's aligned here, um, these finger marks down here, which bulge out, should sort of falls into place. And then I anchor down this side with tack solution once I am done squeegeeing and stretching it out. So you can't even tell it's on right now. If you look closely enough, there's a seam and we're gonna 
put the other piece on um, as close as we can and it should be seamless at least from six inches away. And as you peel this off, you want to stay slip through, okay? It literally just puzzled right in. So with your fingers, you just want to line it up as close as you can before you squeegee it out. I'm actually not going to put any tack solution here because I don't need to anchor it down yet. But once, once I'm comfortable, I'm just going to squeegee the middle part out and then anchor on both end with tack solution. That's it, that's the end result. So this is from about four inches away. So you can actually see the seam. But if you move out about, let's say six inches, here's the feet, you can't even see the seam. If you look closely, There's the seam right there. This is about two inches away. So you really have to look for it to find it. But yeah, that's how you install mirror caps, expel PPF. Then you let it dry for a few hours and then come check on it. See if any of the fingers come back up and just push it down with your fingers. Thanks for watching. Again, catch you all next time. Remember to subscribe.